Hello and welcome to Stream Tabulous. So today I want to take a look at a model called Ultra Spice and it is an absolutely fantastic model which you can run on low settings. So it's great for older hardware but it's even better for RTX systems where the renders are lightning quick. It is absolutely amazing. So we'll get over to the intro and then we'll take a look at Ultra Spice. Okay, so here we are on Civit AI, and this is Ultra Spice here. And they actually dropped the new one uh, today, I believe. Yesterday, today. I'm currently using the 1.91. Uh, this is an amazing model. It's um, its details are really, really great quality. And uh, even though it doesn't say it's a hyper model or a lightning model, it is really, really quick. And we can see here that it's actually uh, recommending, um, well, pretty low steps. But it turns out you can go a lot lower than these steps. And when you go lower with those steps, um, I'm finding the quality is more realistic. Um, of course, there's always that balance, and we'll talk about that in a second. Also, if you're after a good LoRa, which will add more details to your image, take a look at this one here called Extremely Detailed, No Trigger. Um, it's one of the ones I run a lot of the time. It doesn't conflict with models. Uh, there are other detail LoRa's out there, which can have a tendency to um, have a bit of a conflict with some of the models. Uh, that said, they can be really fantastic. But this one is very universal and it's absolutely great, Laura, for adding uh, more depth, more details to your uh, renders. Okay, so this is Ultra Spice here. So you're just going to click on the version that you want to download and just download it. Let's get over to Krita and take a look at it. So here we are in Krita. 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 And uh, I've already just done a uh, Pokemon standing on a rock here, but let's talk about the settings. Now we'll point out, I'm running OBS and I've noticed the times running this with OBS are twice as long. So keep that in mind. Also, I noticed that um, obviously the way this compresses and then decompresses in the VRAM uh, it is... The older style of VRAM, so the type of DDR that's on your graphics card, um, I'm finding that the RTX system is about 4 seconds for the 3068 gig. On this one, I'm getting about 15 seconds. I think I'm getting, um, I get around about 10, uh, but I think I get about 20 on OBS running because uh, obviously that's a memory hog for uh, VRAM itself. So if you don't have my um, samplers, I suggest that you get on and download them. I will leave them in the uh, description. So what I've gone through and I've set it up at is this one here. So the Euler Exponential. So nice basic one. And you'll notice right here, I've got guidance of 1.1 and I've got it down on five steps. So this is absolutely insane. Let's do a quick render. There's one I've already done here. Um, because obviously the 680 by 680, the lower size here, I am getting um, some more artifacts and uh, errors in some of the renders than uh, you would having a larger image. So keep that in mind. Um, you know, a slightly longer render time isn't a uh, issue, but um, we're doing this live to show how well it works and the quality of the actual image. And I'm not going to go into too much detail on it. And we can see that there. We've got the double Pikachus. I think that is absolutely fantastic. I'm going to need to save that one. And uh, yeah, I mean, it is lightning fast. It's um, adherence to the, uh, the prompting isn't half bad. Uh, you can change these samplers. And I've tried it with a number of samplers. And um, if you wanted it to be um, less realistic, uh, some of the Kera samplers uh, have a tendency to make this one, which is ironic. Keras usually has more realism. But um, with this one, it tends to make it a little bit faker. Uh, but there's better prompt adherence with it. 
So you can play with the different samplers and see how they physically affect the prompts and play with the weights of them. Uh, with this particular model, this model has more diversity than any model that I've used to date. By that I mean when I go through and I try it with different samplers to uh, get those different effects on the images. Uh, this one doesn't glitch or have as many uh, issues with um, the different types of samplers. Other ones may not work with certain samplers. So some have issues with samplers uh, where certain samplers won't run with and it's only set to run with uh, a few or even one specific type of sampler. This one here, running it through different samplers, has just been fantastic and phenomenal. Uh, it's very happy to work with pretty much every sampler that I've thrown at it and um, the weights are all pretty low that you can actually set it to. And you can go a little bit higher. I mean, you can put those steps up and uh, get more detail in there. But I'm finding that uh, gives that um, sharper and um, more artificial look to it. So Pikachu's got a uh, bit of deformity. I can relate, buddy. I can relate. So yeah, I mean, there's not much to say on it. Uh, I wanted to review some models that are um, just upcoming and um, phenomenal. And I mean, think that is the beauty with Kreta or Krita, uh, is the ability to throw other models in there and what Ackley has done and the way that you can add those samplers now is a game changer. And um, with the newer models which are coming on the market, uh, you, as you can see, GTX 1070, 8 gig, running an SDXL model, getting phenomenal pictures. Yes, it obviously is a smaller canvas size to um, offset the weight from the um, GPU itself for the RAM usage, uh, but phenomenal picture. And of course, from there, you can um, just simply scale it up at the end of it and get yourself a, a fantastic um, result. So there it is. It's the Ultra Spice model. Uh, obviously, very quick video today. Um, normally, I'd go through and uh, try a different, couple of different prompts and uh, show you the prompt adherence and stuff like that. Go try it. Uh, I've got a bunch of photos on the Civit AI, which I've uploaded um, last night, uh, trying out this model. And its level of detail, I've got my... Um, Gonzo up there with uh, a lightsaber, or I've got him running away from zombies. And the level of details going through from front to back is just phenomenal. Fantastic model. So definitely a shout out to that creator. So of course, don't forget to like if this video has helped you. Subscribe if this video has helped you. Get the bell on for notifications if you want to see more content like this and so forth. I'll leave a link below if you want to see uh, more models that I'm actually using and um, if there's anything specific that you want me to test on models. And like I said, I have gone through and checked the prompt adherence on this one and it actually is quite phenomenal. It, um, it really adheres well to what you're typing in and follows that description. Um, the Ultra Spice, it's really good at handling that and following the prompt and building the image that I want. And as a uh, former artist being disabled, I want that adherence and I wanna be able to describe and get exactly what I'm picturing in my head. And this sort of model is there. Also check out level four. I do need to do a video on that one, but I wanna do a little bit more in depth on it if I uh, can with showing some of that prompt adherence. But yeah, get over Severed AI, the links, wherever YouTube decides to slap them. Uh, we'll have the um, link to my samplers if you haven't got them. I'll leave a video link at the end of the video to how to add those samplers. And uh, yeah, get over. And I will see you in the next stream table this video. Thank you for watching my video and sticking around to the end. If you like my videos, it'd really help me out if you could like and subscribe. It helps the YouTube algorithm to push my videos out there to more viewers, which in turn helps me and helps everyone. So thank you for watching my video and hanging around to the end, and I will see you in the next video.